Hey guys, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com, and today we're taking a look at the all-new OS X Yosemite. This is the latest version that is going to be upcoming in the fall uh, term for Macs. This is the latest version of Mac OS X, of course. And it is the developer preview. This is the latest developer preview version 5. So this is the most up-to-date 10.10. .10. I just wanted to go over what's new really in Yosemite, what you can expect to see in your upcoming Mac. So if you're buying a new Mac or if you're just, you know, you're going to be upgrading in the future, what's new, what to, uh, you know, what's changed essentially and all that good stuff. So first and foremost, Notification Center. Let's go ahead and if you swipe in from the right, I'm doing this on a MacBook Air, by the way, so I'm just, this is my test machine essentially. Now swiping in from the right, you'll notice Notification Center has an all new kind of look and feel, uh, and that's very reminiscent of the rest of the user interface we'll get into in a second here. But Notification Center is very much more modern, flat. You can see you also have the ability now to add these little widgets in. So if you hit edit here, you can add things like, for example, the calculator. So if I hit plus there, you see that drops in right here and you can reorganize that as needed. So you have more useful stuff that you can actually do with it. So not only does it display your notifications, but I can slide in here and I have access to a calendar now, which I can then use to do any basic functions uh, if I wanted to access that. And you can see it actually is not working right now. So, I mean, it's still, it's still very buggy. It's something that's still, there's still issues with uh, Yosemite here. Oh, there you go. Now it's actually, I guess you just type with it. You can't actually, I don't know, it's not, it's not working when I tap on it, but again, it's, it's still very beta <laughs> stages. Uh, if you go into notifications here, you get anything that's notified you as far as mail and all that stuff goes. And you can see you can also swipe in from the right and go to the settings on the bottom right there to access any of your settings within notification center. So right here, you can set stuff uh, for do not disturb and all that good stuff. All right, uh, as far as the user interface goes, obviously OS 10 Yosemite sports a much more flatter UI to uh, be more unified with that of iOS. So you'll see the dock has changed a much more uh, different look and feel with the icons. So you can see the iTunes icon, for example. It's a little bit more, it's translucent, but at the same time, it's very, you know, it's very different. And you'll see the look and feel when you go into the Finder, for example. It's very, very flat as well. And you can see when you hover over, that's when you get these minimize, exit, and full screen buttons. Uh, additionally, you still have those tags and all that uh, new Finder coming in from OS X Mavericks. But nonetheless, you have a uh, much more cleaner, I think, look. And if you go into system preferences, you'll notice the new icons and look and feel as well there. You can even adjust things like as far as the color, you can change it to a dark menu if you prefer that. So there's a lot of different things that you can adjust now within the actual user interface. Next up is Spotlight. By hitting Command Space or just tapping in the little magnifying glass in the top right, you now get Spotlight. Now, when you start typing Spotlight, in addition to searching for your files on your Mac, also searches the Mac uh, Sorry, the iTunes App Store, iTunes itself, the internet, and other things that you can dictate in the preferences. So if I was to search, for example, let's say Digital Dojos here, if I don't have a file, you can see if I have a file on my Mac, I'll show up. But additionally, it's going to also show things like uh, anything related to my mail, and I can even go through bookmarks and history and all that stuff. If I was to do screen flow, for example, let me go back, screen flow. You can see as I type here, it's going to autocorrect me if there's anything it finds. And again, it'll search it through. It'll even pull up Wikipedia entries if I want to click on that, the icon, the information. So it, it's very similar to that if you've ever used application launchers like Alfred, etc. You can do basic things on here now. So for example, 5 plus 5 equals 10. You can do things like that on Spotlight. So it, it's a much more quicker app launcher and more feature packed essentially with Spotlight. Next up is Safari. They've changed Safari to make it more minimal. So you'll see it goes along with that whole user interface. You have the one less toolbar now. Everything's kind of crammed into this toolbar and it does that same thing as far as searching goes, uh, just like Spotlight. You'll notice the favorites are a little bit different. And if you set up multiple tabs, you can actually get a tab view. Uh, so you can see you get all your tabs overviewed essentially in a much more cleaner interface. Uh, it's, it's faster, obviously, the engine and all that, so there's been some changes to it, but mainly you'll just notice the stuff in the UI. There's also some bookmark changes and stuff like that that you can uh, adjust. You have your reading list and all that, your shared links. Sharing is a big feature packed into Safari now, but obviously the most visual difference is being the actual you know minimal user bar that, or toolbar at the top, and under that you have your tab interface. Next up is Mail. Now, Mail also, again, is uh, kind of visually the same. It looks very much the same. You have a little bit of the translucency and the shading and the text as far as uh, OS X Yosemite itself goes. But what's different in Mail is they've offered a couple new things. You can do things like pick up writing. If you start writing an email on your Mac, you can write uh, start picking it up on your phone or iPad with continuity or handoff. That's a feature that's built into uh, iOS. It's going to be built into iOS 8 and Mac OS 10, where you can kind of pick off off 
one device and start it on the other or whatever it may be. Now, additionally, Mail handles attachments a little bit differently. You can like adjust your attachments as far as adding captions and things of that nature. So there's just a little bit of small changes within the way Mail works in itself. So when you write a new message and all that, you can attach a picture and you can store up store files up to five gigs and more, incorporating it with what's known as iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive is basically Apple's way of you storing your files in iCloud. You get access to a little thing called iCloud Drive. You sign up to it, I believe, with your Apple ID, and you can store everything on the web. And this allows you to access everything where you go, essentially. So whether it's on your iPhone, iPad, or other Macs, everything would store through iCloud Drive, essentially Dropbox built into OS X. All right, so I talked about handoff. Again, that's the continuity functionality along with AirDrop. If you go into Finder like I was just there, you can see AirDrop allows you to drop in files onto your Mac. If you have that enabled, you can simply share it now with iOS devices as well. Before, it was only Mac to Mac. But with devices on iOS 8, you can share instantly files between the two devices. So again, that continuity between mobile devices and your Mac is now in place. Last but not least, which I can also can't demo, but phone calls and SMS. If you have a iOS 8 uh, paired device like an iPhone, when you receive a phone call, you can actually uh, pick it up on your MacBook or MacBook Pro, whatever it may be, iMac even. It'll basically use your laptop or desktop as a hotspot, and you can answer your calls on your Mac. Additionally, the Messages app, if you have Messages installed or iMessages, you can receive text messages now on your Mac. So if you've previously only got your text messages through your phone or through, yeah, through your phone basically, now you'll be able to receive SMSs uh, on your Mac as well. So you can view those and respond to those all from one place. All right, so that's a lot of the big new features in OS X Yosemite. There's a lot of stuff that's still being patched, fixed, and obviously there's gonna be things that are refined when the final release comes out. But as of right now, these are the major new features along with the new look and feel and speed enhancements and all that. So stay tuned for more videos on OS X Yosemite. Again, you guys can check out more content at digitaldojos.com.